The Amarillo City Council is exploring the possibility of bringing bike and scooter sharing services to Amarillo. Bike sharing would be a transportation option for areas like downtown, Amarillo College, and the Medical District. The City Council is weighing the pros and cons. Politics Today's Chase Horn has more. A lot needs to happen before bike and scooter sharing becomes a thing in Amarillo. Big picture, citywide, we don't have a lot of bike lanes, so they would be riding just with the regular flow of traffic, so that's a safety concern. Um, what it would require is an ordinance that would set the regulations as far as where they could be located, um, where they are prohibited, where it's on a sort of side of the sidewalk. As of right now, Amarillo doesn't allow bikes on sidewalks, and it doesn't have anything on the books regulating bike sharing services. So the city wants to take a step back and get all of its scooters in a row. What we have directed staff to do is just to uh, draft an ordinance for a temporary prohibition until we can just research. There, there are some benefits, there are also some problems. Give us the time to get these regulations and input in place before um, a scooter or bike share comes to town. So basically give us a few months to work through the, the options and do the research before we present a new, new ordinance and any regulations that might come with it. The city council sees a need. We do have uh, visitors that come to different conventions and events downtown that would like to have some uh, just public transportation, not having to walk everywhere. It's just trying to decide if this is something it wants to see here in Amarillo. According to the National Association of City Transportation Officials, there were 35 million trips taken on shared bikes in 2017. More transportation talk now. The person in charge of our nation's highways and byways wants to fix her agency's disjointed approach to innovation. And where better to talk tech transformation than South by Southwest? Politics Today's Steffi Lee brings us highlights from the plan from Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow. What is going on in the field of transportation? Technology is nothing short of Stunning that transportation transformation is on full display at South by Southwest. It used to be that a train was a train, a highway was simply a highway. There's not a moment that we're not thinking about the potential safety implications of adopting different technologies. The U.S. Department of Transportation is at the conference to highlight ways it's working to making sure advances like automation stay safe and accessible. Accessibility is key and has always been part of the mission of public transportation. And as such, it's natural to work with public transit agencies in adopting automation in a way that opens rides for everyone. And for projects like autonomous cars and Hyperloop, the department has a new approach. Going forward, there will now be one place, a one stop shop for innovators and stakeholders to work with the department. That one stop shop is a council of experts tasked with shepherding new technologies. It's thinking about how can it be um, ad adopted safely, how can it be uh, adopted competitively, how can it be adopted in a way that is of service to the riding public, to the traveling public. Secretary Chow says this non-traditional and emerging transportation technology council will start meetings this week. Now, there could be changes to the way the state pays for education. Coming up, details on the new school finance plan passed by the Texas Senate.